Hey, what's happening you guys? This is Greg here from Gamer Redefined and I'm talking about the game The Flame and the Flood by the Molasses Flood. Uh, this game was released uh, earlier this year and is available also for the PC, PS4, and Nintendo Switch platforms. Let's talk a little bit about it. You play as a young girl named Scout and her travel companion Aesop the Dog. You travel down an ever-expanding river in a post-societal world trying to manage health, thirst, and hunger to survive. You traverse the game world of the Flame and the Flood on a wooden makeshift raft that can be upgraded or repaired at certain points along the way, and you will be stopping to repair it along the way. Your biggest enemy in this game, the river itself, is treacherous and filled with dangers waiting to smash your raft against the rocks that litter the path. Lean on the X button too little, and you won't be able to swerve out of the way. Lean on it too much, and you'll drive yourself right into the path of certain danger. Trying to navigate the unforgiving rapids in order to make it to safe port can create extremely challenging moments and obstacles to survival. Especially when reaching that port means not drowning or starving to death. The crafting system is at first glance deceptively simple. Combine items you gather in the world to create tools to survive. Well, the game attempts to present a challenge to this perception by allowing the player to only be able to craft certain items once they've created and placed down a campfire. Certain stops you make may already have a campfire, but they are extremely scarce. Pro tip! Craft medical supplies such as bandages, splints, and medicines as soon as you can. I got a staph infection from untreated wounds which affected how fast I used my water supply. Be sure to craft a water purifier as well for situations like these. The colorful art style and driving forward soundtrack brings levity to a broken world filled with impending doom around every corner. The game's day to night cycle and dynamic weather will also present many problems. And you probably could get sick. Be sure to craft that medicine I was talking about earlier. An amazing feature of replayability in this game is its procedurally generated river. Each time you play through it, even on a loaded save, it will attempt to change the game and the path you took originally by presenting different obstacles, putting characters and people you meet in different spots, and maybe putting that very much needed place to stop off and rest at a different location. Although the story does present itself as a beginning and an ending, there is a mode called Endless River where you can travel down and just keep going and survive it. Besides the clunky crafting interface and the abysmal staring on the raft, this game is definitely a buy it and play it. Um, it goes places, it does things, it keeps you moving, keeps things urgent, and keeps things interesting in your plight to survive in this apocalyptic world. Definitely check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, and tune into Gamer Redefined for more reviews you can use.